to the next um, video in r uh, regards to recording audio. Um, so uh, as you can see, I've got a piece of audio here. Okay, now there's, there's certain things that Cubase does um, when you create an audio file. Now we call this virus, um, and as you can see, Cubase has put an underscore and then three. If it was the first part, it would say one, two, three, four. Now, um, there's certain things that you can do um, for naming conventions within um, Cubase. Now, if I copy this file and move it to another channel, you'll see there's no name. It just says Audio 2. So let's delete that. If I create an audio track and call it um, Virus Bass. Okay, that, I'm sorry. Now, if I move this, if I copy this to this channel, what do you think will happen? I bet you thought it would change the virus base, didn't you? No, afraid not. Um, the reason um, for that is because um, it's um, it's an event; it's not a part. So, if you want if you want to move something from one channel to another and then take the um, the name that's on that channel. And what you need to do is select the part, sorry, select the event and then come into audio and then go events to part. It's now changed it to a part. So now if I copy and paste that, you'll see it didn't work. Interesting. Okay, um, I remembered why that didn't work. You need to go to File, Preferences and select the Editing tab. And then make sure that parts get track names is selected. If that's on, hit apply and then OK that. Now what you'll see is, if I move this to this channel, base, it still doesn't get it. However, it's because it's an event and not a part. So again, audio, events to part. And if I move it, it changes to base. So um, that's just kind of one of the little nuances of Cubase. Um, if you had a couple of MIDI tracks, and let's say we had a MIDI part in here, um, you don't have to do anything. MIDI parts always change. So if that was called, and this was called keys, M MIDI parts always change. You can see guitar keys, guitar keys, as long as that. Um, parts get track names is on. Okay, now there is other ways that you can rename um, parts. If you have um, select the channel, let's have a look, see what we've got up here. Oh. As you can see, it's called virus there. If we change that to Boogie, as you can see, it's changed. It's sorted. It's it's rechanged. Then if we copy that, um, um, the new part will get. It will still get the name of the um, the track. So again, you can go up there and change it to Boogie Two or whatever. Um, so that's just a little bit about naming parts, really. Let me just delete all of that. Um, let me think if there's anything else. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is the monitoring. There is a few options. If you go to File, Preferences, and go to VST, um, you'll see up here, auto, auto Monitoring, there's a few options. Now, the manual one is the one we used in the last video. Basically, um, you it's down to you to turn the, the, the monitoring off and on. Um, there's another one, um, while record enabled, the monitoring will work. So if I apply that, so at the moment, if I hit record enable, the monitoring button should come on as well. There we go. So I hit record. Press stop. Undo that. There we go. Okay, the, um, the next one. 
while record running, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, if I hit record, monitor will come on as well. As long as record enables on on the track, obviously, because you can't record to the track if the record enable button's not on. As soon as you hit record, the re the monitor button will come on. There you go. As soon as you hit stop, the monitor button goes off, which is quite handy. And last but not least, the, the tape machine style. Basically, um, let's just turn everything off. Um, if I hit record. Sorry, you've got, um, as soon as you hit record enable, it goes on. If I hit record, as soon as I hit stop, the monitor button will turn off. Sorry, as soon as I hit play, the monitor button will turn off. There you go. So monitor, um, in the tape machine mode, monitoring is always on. Um, as, as, as long as it's record enabled, but as soon as you hit play, it turns off automatically, which is good because you can't hear anything. If you hit play and you forget to turn the monitor button off, and you can't hear anything. But with this, it automatically turns off for you, so that's good. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope that was um, helpful. I'll see you in the next one.